Uh, Shane, welcome to the show. Uh, great to have you here. Shane, I have to apologize to you. And it, you're going to think this is stupid, but like I yeah. had the worst nightmare. I was like wow. sleeping. I woke up at like, uh, you know, in time to get Ava to school. Then nine o'clock to noon, I was asleep again. And I was having a really lucid dream wow. in which. Uh, it, oh, I don't know I if I want to know now. I want to know. Oh, my God. I mean, no, I, I told this to Andrea, and Andrea's like, what, what's going on? I'm like, I just, I think I, I'm just, you know, I'm dealing with a lot of people's, like, issues, and I think it kind of combined into this dream. Like, Hunter's complaining to me lately that he doesn't like uh, certain aspects of his job. He's thinking about moving somewhere else. He's just, you know, uh, and then your thing that happened. So I had this dream where uh, Hunter comes to me and goes, Dad, I'm in love with Yanzi. Oh and I said, God. I said, what? And he said... <laughs> He said, and she loves me too, and she's oh leaving Shane, and she's going. We're going to get married. <laughs> and I said, uh, in my dream, that is. I said, I, I, you, you're marrying Yancey? And he said, yeah. Uh, and he pronounced her name properly, which is something weird. Oh my god, so that's I, a poor move right there. That's. Uh... So I'm, I'm like, I'm sitting there going, okay. So I ha like, first of all, like, all right. So welcome to the family, Yanzi. And then I'm like sitting there, like, now I got to talk to Shane. Like, I've never had to apologize to someone harder than I'm going to have to apologize to Shane. <laughs> wow. uh, and I was like, what are you doing? Like, what's everybody doing? And it was a very lucid dream. It was very, like I remember it clearly, every aspect of it and how I felt. I was just like, "Son, what you're causing me immense problems right now." And then, like uh, you know, uh, Shane, oh my God. Anyway, Shane, I want to apologize for my subconscious that uh, made that made that dream happen in my head. Uh, but Yancy would be welcome if Yancy wanted to be a member of the Van Skyvers. I honestly like. It's I know okay. that's a ridiculous yeah, thing, I, but I, I completely understand. I had a weird dream last night. It was uh, I, I usually sleep eat a lot, right? Yeah. And uh, normally I usually snap out of it, but I'm halfway in and halfway out of my fridge, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, I dreamed I snapped out of it, but I was in your kitchen eating the food out of your fridge. Wow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And you're sitting there and that you're like... That is cuckoldry of the worst kind, like <laughs> eating out my refrigerator. Yeah, I don't... Shane, I just want to say I'm sorry. That was a weird, weird dream. And, uh, you know, I don't know. Like, so to me, it was like I got two big problems right now. I got Hunter who's like talking to me about, you know, making a change. And then you uh, and the... Well, that got solved. What happened to yeah. you? Thank fucking God. But for a while, it was pretty scary. Uh, and then that just resolved itself in the worst nightmare imaginable. Uh, but like I said, Yancy, if theoretically speaking, if Yancy did want to marry Hunter, like if things went south with you and yeah. Shane, and you did want to marry my son, Yancy, you would be welcome in the family. You would. Holy Yancy shit. Vance. She, wow. What am I going to say? She wouldn't be? Of course she yeah, would you be. Gotta, you got it. You got to take my side on this. Dude. <laughs> Wait, I have to make her unwelcome? Yeah, <laughs> make her friends unwelcome. With you? Make her unwelcome. <laughs> yeah, I've been... Uh, uh, Yanzi, Yanzi was like, I think it's about time for me to get a license. I was like, no, it's not. Yeah. So is yes. that the real reason why you bought him all that McDonald's? <laughs> no, that happened just this yep. morning. I'm trying to get rid of my, uh, my six pack. He's trying to get up, get rid of my six pack. I want you to know about the McDonald's, by the way, Ethan. Yeah. I, uh, I had uh, family come over, and they're mm -hmm. like, well, that's nice. You invite us over for once to see the kid and everything. And I'm like, that's all right. And I was like, I need every one of you to take one of these bags home. <laughs> and each bag was a cold out of my fridge, <laughs> a Big Mac and cheese. Uh, so I ordered cheese. First of all, this is why I'm saying fuck Joe Biden. I'm saying fuck Joe Biden because prices have gone through the roof. Like I ordered McDonald's for one person, Shane Davis, and it was like $300. It's ridiculous. You ordered so what McDonald's for an orphanage. What are you talking about? I didn't know how much you wanted, and I didn't know what you wanted. Enough McDonald's, you could have fed all of Africa. What are you? Who are you lying to? <laughs> I ordered Shane eight Big Macs, eight Ooh. cheeseburgers, four ten, uh, 40 McNuggets, uh, probably like eight small fries or medium fries. Uh, what else did I order you, Shane? Is that it? And then I some apple pies, four uh, apple pies. Some, some apple pies. Uh, cheeseburgers, uh, some dipping sauce, like green. I don't even know what it is. Just real quick, 
Who tipped the DoorDash guy? Did did uh, she have to tip him? Oh, you tipped no, him? No, no, completely fully paid. When you use DoorDash, you can, uh, you know, you can add the tip on there, which is what I did. You know, I, I made sure they were tipped heavily. Uh, I respect that guy texted me. He goes, look, it's a lot of McDonald's. He's like, I'm waiting for it. He's like a foreigner. He's like, I'm waiting for it over here. I'm trying. I said, listen, you have to get it to Shane as quickly as possible. He is very hungry. And the guy was like, oh, my God. He's like, I'll go as fast as I can. <laughs> so he got it to Shane. Uh, he got a big, a whole lot of McDonald's. Also shopped for Shane at Food Lion. Uh, and Shane, how did the Food Lion stuff go? I haven't cracked into it yet. I'm, I, you know, I've been working my way through the thing I drank one beer. Uh, oh, so Shane, you did crack open a beer. You had a beer. You got some got wine. It. I gave you some cookies and some ice cream. A lot of people were jealous of that. Uh, yeah, so, a lot of uh, people mad all of a sudden. I'm like, look, Shane's getting food. Why like, are you mad at that? I don't know. They want it to happen for them one day, and I hope it does happen for them one day. Well, you know, so hey, you and, and, and also in Hunter's defense, my my boy Hunter, yeah. uh, I met, mm. I had the privilege of meeting Yanzi in Charlotte, and she yeah. really is beautiful. She's adorable. No, it's Hunter yeah. didn't go after Yanzi. It was just in my head because I was worried about Yanzi and Shane, and I'm worried about my son, and somehow that became a dream. And it wasn't a dream; it was a nightmare. It was an absolute nightmare. I was thinking, oh, my God, this is so uncomfortable for, like, it'd be the worst situation. I've but, I mean, at the same time, I'm going to be nice to Yancey. Welcome to the Van Skyver family, Yancey. Oh Obviously, uh, my daughter-in-law now. You're my daughter-in-law, Yancey. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Like, uh, that would all be fine. That would all be fine. I'm just saying it would have been a nightmare I for think we might be streaming too much together, guys. I'm, I'm just putting that out there. <laughs> we, may <laughs> we may be hit a wall here. It's a possibility, yeah. Yeah. Hey, Ethan, congratulations. On oh, thank you, Yancy. Oh, Hi, Yancy. Yancy. Hi. Hi, my daughter-in-law. Oh. oh. Yancy, did not, Shane tell you this? No, I didn't. And let's All right, not. Yancy, uh, I'll tell you. that It's embarrassing. I really shouldn't do this, but Shane's probably going to insist that I tell you. No, I'm, um, not. I'm not. I had a dream, uh, Yancy, uh, that you and my son Hunter fell in love. And you were going to leave Shane Davis. Now, this is ridiculous. This is because I had a bunch of my son was having a, a trouble at work and Shane had lost his channel. And I was concerned about both of them. So I went to bed and had a dream that combined both of these problems and made an even worse one. Uh, and uh, I just want you to know, Yanzi, that I know this was just a stupid fever dream that I was having. But I want you to know that if you did fall in love with Hunter and decide to marry him, I want you to know you'd be welcome in the family. Okay, oh. you would be. I would welcome you with open arms. You would be my daughter-in-law. I would be. I would treat you really well. You would be just fine. Just to let you know, like you know, not to get weird, but like uh, if you were gonna marry my twenty-five-year-old son, it would be okay with me. Okay, and uh, all that stuff. Having said that, I'd apologize to Shane, uh, and it would be a, yeah. a big problem for Shane. He's my friend, so I appreciate that. I, you know, I appreciate the apology. <laughs> The only, thing was I weird. Say, the only thing I can say is, thank God I love my husband. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And furthermore, I think the is you like, could come yeah. over, Yanzi. It'd be a Yanzi Van Skyver. That sounds nice. It kind of yeah. there's a little alliteration there. You no, know, I came nice. for like on a very short leash. I mean, you know, you better, I, Shane. You better not let that one get away. I'm on a chain. Keep her on a chain. <laughs> I thought you were going to announce you adopted Shane. I thought that's what was happening. So I'm I really would do that confused. too. If Shane, yeah. if I had to adopt Shane, I would do that. You know, mm. this happen, you know, I would keep Shane on a short leash. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>